Okay, let's talk about video integration because sometimes you may want to, to use some video file because you want to make sure that the, the sound is in sync with the image or eventually you want um, the, the video file to give you some information in terms of where are the, space, the sounds coming from on the screen and the, the software allows you to, to import a video reference so you can simply come here and set add video reference you pick up your your uh, uh, video file and then this screen will appear that allows you to to make some some decisions about what you want to import if you want to import the entire audio file in the entire video file or only a subset so if you want to subset you can specify okay i want from this uh, frame like frame 12 and to there and also you can say if you want to import audio or not if you sometimes you want to also listen to the audio of the original uh, file other times you only want the image nevertheless even if you import audio you can still mute the audio later on and you also have here the the transport information for you to help navigate within your file and also you can also use this marking and mark out if you want to specify where do you want the segments to start and finish okay and then it's going to be over here your 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 video file and you'll be completely in sync with your audio and um, also if you have the the video track selected it's going to appear some information over here some general description that you may add what is the time offset because sometimes you want this clip only to start after a few seconds or eventually you can use also negative values if you want the clip to officially start much sooner than your zero time uh, on your time editor um, also there is this audio gain that allows you to control the volume of the audio from the video file so essentially if you want to listen to more audio or less audio from your uh, video file you can change this in here you have gen generical information about your video the file name the path the image the duration and also the hardware that you want to use with your uh, the audio from the video reference so essentially if you have a, a audio interface with several outputs you can specify where do you want the left and right channel to come out of your uh, audio devices and um, this the uh, the audio that you have in here will not be rendered on your file on your output file so if you it's only uh, here to give you a reference yes you are going to listen if you did if you don't mute it and if you have imported but that when you export your audio file from your project the audio from the video file will not be present there uh, also like I mentioned on the 3d views there is this important spherical view that allows you to see what is happening on screen and with the particle so eventually you can have a better uh, understanding what is going to what is happening in terms of the screen as you imagine as you can see the software considers that the screen is using uh, an angle regarding the the viewer of between uh, uh, less 30 degrees and 30 degrees which means that give you a 60 degree 60 degree angle um, and then you can see the particles moving around and you can even uh, synchronize in terms of movement imagine that you have a, a video with a missile coming passing by or something like that you make you can make sure that the particles with the sound of the missile it's completely sync uh, on the with the image and all of these things that you can do with video files as reference